assistant referees. off and it's gone forward off there McFarlane so Japan immediately on the front foot on the seven meter line and now they shift expect Japan to be patient disciplined and professional Fujiwara Well, confusion right from the restart of the game for Samoa was difficult to sense directly in the eyes of the skipper Theo McFarlane. And from there, Japan. Well, they just struck straight away. It'd be interesting to see the way they approach this game. Looks like they're going to go to the sideline straight away. Positivity, but you spoke about in pre-game Warner Derns him and how important he is to the Japanese outfit. Now we might see him again come line out time. I need you all back 10, please. You as well. We get this set up properly. There's the lineups for Japan. Yes. Pretty accurate. Look at that. 96%. They went to the back jumping pod on that occasion. Do they change it up here? Thank you. Two in the line now. That's a high percentage. Return. Now the drive. Harada. Got that ball and advancing. Can hear Paul Williams saying they're moving. Harada! Just short by inches. Now the pick and go for Katava. Challenging the Samoan defense close in. Use it! Samoa up to the challenge so far, but they uh, need to be able to maintain that as Japan come at them again. Good defense. Ben Nene, now they come wide. With a decoy play. And now Osada gets rid of one defender, passes. And now Tuitama. Malo Tuitama. Now Shimokawa. They are piling on the pressure. Japan. Arada missed out. Eight minutes out. Great field position now. Fujiwara. Plenty of options. Here's another second man play. Great defense from the Samoa. And they've stolen the ball. And now the kick from Matavao doesn't find touch. So they get to counter attack Japan. Easy, easy. Oh, that was great attack from the Japanese, but equally fantastic defense from Samoa. Be careful with our tackles, please. Yeah, Tuitama just lifted a little bit. What about the turnover from Malolo on the line? It was great line speed from Samoa. Very connected. But the threat's still not over. A five meter line out, they have to defend. Tidy. My little two time I can't do anything with it, so they just yes. got to recycle, start again. Good carry to start off this new piece of position. Nice and aggressive and direct. Forced to make a tackle in the line. Miura. Loose set prop. Fujiwara. Lots of continuity. We've got field position and the ball. And now McFarlane. Fujiwara. Oh, it's Takakawa with the attacking kick. But again, great. Defense from Samoa was front foot defense as well, forcing the attack back. They're winning the contact at the moment. Other men in blue, they force their kick pass, doesn't come to plan. But they know the threat of the weapon with Tui Tama on the left. 
Yeah, yeah you're right. It was, that, it was the Japanese player, not you. And nice win against the throw. So this opening stanza is being owned completely by Japan. The ball and field position and momentum. Always somebody available. Jiwara, Patakawa, second man play with a little tip on. And now they've got them in the backfield. And it is Japan with the first try. Tremendous work. Oh, he's a try score. This kid, Dylan Riley. He's a creator. And he's on the end of this one. Look at this little kick. Right here, it's great vision. And then he keeps his composure. Just waits for the ball to pop up, and I can tell you that's a hard thing to do when you know you've got defenders coming across. It's Hsu Sing Lee. Yeah, they are getting up. Is it with depth at 15 or the 10 jersey? Puts it in behind and exposes Samoa. Huge game in the final pool game last week. Right. Tim Riley. Lee with a conversion. Very, how we say, Eddie Jones start from Japan. Very huh? professional, wasn't it? Very, very professional, very precise. I like the way they took their time. They were composed, they didn't rush, and they waited for the hole to open, didn't push anything too much. Samoa, good defense, so. Backwards. Another advantage, make it easy for them to get out of their own half, Japan. Keep, keep. Blue one, offside. You just have to hold your discipline in those situations. It was a good first up tackle from the restart. It was a positive engagement. They're on the front foot there, so. Just a bit of rush of blood for Samoa. Already penalties conceded three. Young, to Lee, he played 5 8 last week. <laughs> Japan at the front of the line out. Diwara. Two players missed out, and then another decoy play. They are mixing up their attack, Japan. Now we'll start it. Up, up. And they go quickly. Uruvuchi. The first receiver, number two cut out. Players cut out. Jiwara. They are rolling through the rucks. Play on. Backwards and backwards, play on. Use it. Numbers on the left edge, a beautiful offload on the inside, Japan. And then some missed tackles on Osada. That's the right winger looking for work on the left edge. Now Fujiwara. Katakawa. Now that's Harada. But Takawa again handles, they've got numbers out on this long side. Palo to Itama, right foot step, two and a half metres out, the young wing three quarter. Rolls knocked down. Mate, if he's offside, then we've got a man unmarked out here. Ooh. So it was 11. Okay, 12, I'm going to come upstairs to you, mate. Controversy I've got an early in this here. contest. But I do have an unmarked man outside where I believe a probable try would have been scored. We just want to check that, please. Okay, we look at the full play of number 11 blue Who's close clear? to the in goal line. Who's clearly offside. And the wording there, clearly offside. 
Kapi Sapeta Alofipo is the one who's been targeted. The number 11, he's the one who's going to come in and make so this tackle. already. Yeah. Say he's not got bad. I, mean, I don't I think believe it's in the act. Attempt. Just make sure actually before we go in the knock-on, make sure it does go forward. Correct. Okay. Let's just not commit to that. It was a good clean-out. It's not a genuine attempt. And yeah. look at this angle now. And the ball does go forward. He's the last defender. Might be yellow on a penalty Agreed. try. Guys, I'm on penalty try. Yellow card against blue 11. Agree. Holly. Okay. Theo, I need blue 11. He's clearly offside. He's prevented a probable try, so it's going to be a penalty try and a yellow card against 11 blue. Where's 11? 11. And penalty try. 11's here. 11. Oh, Japan are going to be rewarded. They've got all the ball, all the field position. They've had Samoa jammed inside their own quarter. And they are full of running. Malo Tuitama is the left winger on the right side. We saw Osana, the right winger, on the left side. So Eddie Jones sharing the work around, sharing the workload. Well, how Japan are attacking. They've got players looping around really, really late. That's why those wingers are getting involved. It's very hard to defend because they're popping up late. The defence is sitting their feet. It's easy to get on the outside in that situation. So the skipper here now, Theo McFarlane for Samoa, just needs to reset. We saw Fiji yesterday in the semi final down to 14 men. They still were able to score. Just need the pill, had no position whatsoever. Tama, Malo to Tama has been busy. Two players missed the others. Japan looked to go to the edge straight away. Tatakawa with a nice ball. Good angled run. Really looking to play the game. Play the game at pace. Yeah, it was always going to be the plan coming to this one with this extreme heat that is here in Tokyo this weekend. Close to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Always going to go side to side to side. It suits their team better. The way they're shifting the ball so quick from those rucks are getting played here, really. And the ball is so clean at the moment. There we go. So we've got a 30 second call for the scrum to be back position wise. Look at that. The Japan are actually owning territory at the moment. Basically 11 minutes. No ball. It's been a challenge for Samoa. They're down 14 0 and down a man. Matavao for Alapati Leua. And now Telo Mapu. Matavao with a short ball. Yonna to the line out the back. Well organized on defense. Japan. Malolo. He lets it go early. Matawa. Oh, short ball. And now Patel and Mapo. Mapo into the backfield away from the first defender. Great run from the number eight. Matawa. They shift. Numbers out on the right hand side. Against the run of play, it's going to be Samoa. Get their first try. Brilliantly done, Tana. Tuitama. What about the injection, though, from Patelo Mapu, the number eight, the second time he bent the Japanese line? He explodes. It's pretty messy out the back. There's nothing doing. Receives it standing still. Gets rid of one defender. Left hand fan for the second. Another left hand fan to beat the third defender. Sets the ball up well. They spread it wide. It was a beautiful pass from Yona out to Tui Tama and Samoa. Even though they're down a man, get the five points. Brilliant sevens player. 56 HB, HSBC series tournaments. For Tuna Tuitama, 30 tries from Mulifanua. And Ten seconds. Very Five. good finish. 
from uh, Tuitama. He's made the transition from sevens to fifteens very smoothly as Rodney Yona. So now it's about game management. For Samoa with the yellow card now, just need to get this restart and exit. That's all you want. Reset. We've got the ball runners. They've shown that they can break the defense of Japan when they get them in space and get those mismatches. So you just have to be professional, settle down here and get your clearance. Start to Tama. Taylor Mapu set that try up with the big carry. Matavao. Ball in the air. To Tama first play there for Samoa as well. Oh, it's unlucky there. It's lucky. Well, unlucky for some more years. The, same. the ruck had shifted. The ball was actually close to him. So he thought he had rights to the ball. But because there's a cleaner there, it's deemed a ruck. Unfortunate because it was a good kick too for Mataval. Very well done. Little one two play in the front of the lineup. Now, Fakatava to shift on the five meter line, charging at the Samoa defense. Come Japan, Fujiwara. It's a slow recycle, but Takawa out the back door, then an attacking kick. Oh, what about the skill here on the kick pass? I like the way Japan is looping around very late. Well, it's allowing the ball players options. You watch him here. I think it's the 15, Xu Sing Lee. Tatikawa gives it out the back door. He's under duress, gets the kick away right on the chest. That is some skill under pressure. Takes a shot, gets the kick away, gets owned. Puts it right on the money. That is some skill right there by the number 15. Having a game. Two assists from two kicks for Xu Shang Li. Tomoki Osada from the Saitama Wild Knights, coached by Robbie Deans. One of the powerhouses here in the Japan competition. As Lee, who's having a significant say. So far in this game, is successful with the conversion. Well, he'll be wanting one more try, I'd say, before the yellow card is up, Betty Jones. Never comfortable in the coach's box. Some more very slow to this restart, as you'd expect. Extreme heat and man down. Seven star. The people. Good kick and good chase. Okay. First knock on this blue. is what these guys on the edge can do, though. We spoke about their seven skills. This is a centimetre away from being a trial, be honest. From Tuitama, it wasn't far away at all. He was steaming down that touchline. Less than two minutes on the yellow card. The other superstar, Alafipo for Samoa. Need a good scrum here. Put some pressure on the men in blue. Tama coming from the left wing, Tatakawa. They were shifting the ball, Riley off loads on the tackle. They've broken them again. With their skill and their goal, Japan. Riley. 
We lost forward by Japan now. Matavao for Slade. Tomasi Elsio. Okay, is going to be over now. Well, he wasn't expecting that ball standing still. Chase up. Chase on. attacking kick. Chase coming from. Mua Aono. And from Lalo Milo. But it's been turned over now. Japan on the counter attack. Fujiwara. Quick hands, I got a little two on one on the left edge. Fujiwara. Entry. What for? Vinci there just cleaning past the ball. That ball needed to go though, needed to be shifted. Fakatava decided to carry into contact their two players on the outside with a bit of space. So more go to the line out and they get up to their full complement. So that's a great hold from them. Defensively. Rodney Yona. Guys, guys, we'll have a water break now. We need to stop the water. Thank you. Uh, given the conditions, okay. Carl. Guys, has alluded one minute water break. To how warm it is. We're at 20 minutes, so one minute water break. The humidity here, so they're just a water break. But it's been a stunning start, especially from Japan. And with virtually no ball and no field position, Tamor found a way to score one try. 21 points to seven. You speak about the conditions both teams are actually seeking. The um, shadows of the main grandstand here to get some respite from the extreme sun. The humidity that is here. Thing in those statistics, just the penalties conceded from Samoa. A lot of it was in that first five or six minutes where they were just parked on their own try line for a long time, and in the end, it forced a yellow card. But it's been an explosive start. There was a nice turnover because Japan were on attack for like two or three minutes. Turnover from the line out, the kick out to Riley, and the conversion smoked by Xu Xing Li. He's been a massive contributor of the start of this first quarter. He was good too, Wandy, on this run. Sada out on that right wing. Twenty-one points to seven, a controversial penalty try. Very big crowd in here, Prince Chichibunamia Stadium. Long time spiritual home of Japan rugby. <laughs> Be an attacking line out on the right hand side of the park for Samoa. Sama Malolo. With the throw, it's a little trick play, but the ball's gone forward. Guys, it was not gone. Was that on the line out, Willie, or line out over? Malo Tuitama. Line out over. Scrum here, guys. Knock on blue. His transition to international football has been a very smooth one. Former Wellington player, Tutama. Playing with a lot of composure and maturity for somebody who's only played a handful of tests. Yeah, I don't think you need that line out, though. It's the first time you've been in Japan territory. I don't think the trick plays to go. Got a tall line out as it is. Off the back, Fujiwara. Straight back for Tatakawa. And he's a machine when it comes to that kind of play. Easy exit. Just has that calmness about him. Number 10, Jiri Harumichi Tatakawa. Won a premiership here in club rugby in Japan. That's very grounds, so he knows how to win. Same thing, same thing as I said to Japan. Back please, 10 metres. Indeed, he knows every blade of grass, every corner. Hold there, Japan. 
Every nook and cranny, as they say, Tatakawa. Now Malolo looking for Nini at the back, but it's tipped it on the Japan side. Tama again breaks the first tackle. Fujiwara. They use the ball from inside their own corner. Look at the field position. Riley tried a little cute kick. Ended up conceding position. Mataval now. And a nice little tip on from Sauli. Yona. They've got an advantage at Samoa, so they can be a bit creative if they want to. Mataval with a nice ball. Thea McFarlane with the offload. Tuna to Itama. He offloads back on the inside. Timing was okay. Easy. No, 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 no. no. That was all in the same In case you think we're losing our marbles at home, Tuna to we're Itama is 14. For Samoa, okay, Malo Tuitama right. is 11 for Japan, okay, and they're marking each other. Mark, and they're having a go too. And they're both <laughs> having superb games. And never back. Japan never back on side. The doing? master. Sorry. The, well, it'll be interesting what you do now. Shot. For Samoa, yeah, shot they're going to go for the shot. I think that's the right call as well. There's Tuna Tuitama was very strong in the build-up to that whole movement. Broke multiple tackles. Fujiwara, he's another Kubota player. Plays as professional footy alongside Tatakawa. Rodney Yona for these days at New Orleans Gold. Time at the Brumbies earlier in his career. from about 27 metres out. Rodney Yona for Manu Samoa sends the ball down the middle. Starts. Oh, not taken cleanly. So this will set up an attacking scrum for Japan on the left-hand side of the park. In conditions that are really conducive to using the ball and playing the wide game, which they have exploited. That's the second time. The number six is Mistek. Restart. Money Samoa, Theo McFarlane. Disappointed, that's for sure. You can see there, yeah. Not entirely sure, yeah. The sun is of concern, but it should be taken. Handling in there is five. Two of them have been in this zone. As you said, Farnall, an attacking zone. Unusual setup, two in the backs here for Japan. Well, the first assignment is to win the scrum for Jiwara. Karan has got the ball and a defender at the same time. Samoa now with a half chance. And then a fortuitous bounce. Now it's Alessio playing half back in Yona. Putting the ball into touch. Well, they'll be frustrated with that Japan. They had great field position and the ball. Yeah, that was Yona's defense, though. He came up and pressurized the Japan kicker, and that caused. The whole situation, we're able to get the front ball, and then he puts the ball across, which is a nice kick as well, going out. A short line out, Japan, work. So they go direct off the first phase, Japan. Four players on the left, five available on the right. Fujiwara puts the ball in the air. Now to Masi. Alessio on the kick return. Mua Aono just taking on the advantage line. 
Matava waits, but it's a slow, it's a slow recycle. So only Matava again puts the ball in the air and a spectacular take. Did you want up on the wraparound? Gets a return ball. And Alapati Leua with a good stop in defence. And wins the penalty. Oh, that was fantastic from Tate Kawa, the skipper, on the take. He goes absolutely airborne. Look at the hops from both players. Times it brilliantly. The hit and spin sets it up brilliantly for support players. But equally, the turnover from Samoa, fantastic. And again, opportunity for points, taking everything on offer. It is 11, he makes this, reduces it down to 8. Still, still, Japan. Oh, Rodney, you're not. No problem. Yeah, just compiling back the points. Look like Sam Slater's gone for Manu Samoa through an injury. Here's a turnover. The reason why they got that penalty. Fantastic work from Pipu Liai. Samuel Lee. Restarts. The ball's gone off, come off of Japan hand, so it's an advantage for when it's Samoa as they try to get the ball away from their own quarter. Use it. Matavao, we've done this a lot in the game, kicked from the base. Lee started off coming towards the right and went back to the left. And a strong carry. Tatakawa, Curran, Fujiwara thought he saw a hole, shut down quickly, and now Uliviti, <laughs> quick hands to the left edge, a beautiful pass, and now Fiji with a power run on the left, Fujiwara, Warner Dirds coming at pace, met by some great defence. Yeah, great job too, well done. Dominant tackle. Tatakawa, cut out ball. And Fujiwara. Again, that diligent had to break down some more and they're rewarded. That's the same man again, getting the turnover. Low shot, gets in. Now straight over that ball. So really the one's going to go in and pull for it. But they get numbers there, but because of a strong position, he's immovable. But that's great defense. Even though right before that dominant tackle, they roll out. Paul Williams lets them play on with other referees. Would have penalized that, and then they get the reward at the next ruck. Work their way right back into this one, the Money Samoa. Play it, Michael Curry on. Experienced player. Curry, very physical at the breakdown. Carries the ball hard and direct. Just the sort of player that can bring some heat in that contact area as McFarlane in the middle of the line out. And now more on the open side flanker with a great run. Can he get the ball down? He's just short, they're saying. You heard the referee, Paul Williams, it's short. Such a great run from Moore, I will not. They're not going to get the reward. Short, then up, goal on, drop out. 
but they will get the ball back. Oh man, this must have been close. Yeah, he's backing himself here. Paul Williams called it straight away, but look at this. The skipper takes it and look how quick they get it out of there. Japan have committed all to that ruck. Behind the kicker, please. The body position is good. The strength is even better. Oh, that is close, that shot. And a restart. 43 meters. And the return. And now Tuna Tuitama takes on Warner Dearns, who's going to hold him up. He's a tall player, Dearns. He's going to get the advantage. Great play from Warner Dearns. When you're six foot a hundred, you can make plays like that in defense. Yeah. Was a good small man against a good bigger man. And the big boy won on that occasion, Warner Dearns. Here's our mark. Just went in a little bit too high. Tuitama. Warner please. Dearns absolutely gobbled him up. Find up, please, Ben. Now he's turned Five. defense into a position for his own team. Yeah. One of the dunes, that's what he's done here. Some more were coming hard at their line with Minas. And he shut it down. Here's our mark. Find up. Let's go. The attitude has been to attack Japan and looking set to attack now with their back line set up. Two players directly behind the scrum. They've got the two centers up close and then the back door with Chu Sing Lee there just on the left of frame. There's a section option in behind. Five. follow all the action on our social media platforms is Fujiwara. Oh, there's a little bit of. Indecision behind the scenes. Just in the tackle. Oh, just, got a knock on the tackle. just gone forward. Well, I'm just, nice oh, just so quick off the base of the scrum. I think he's really grown this season in the game of 15. He's another seven start for the Money Samoa who's transitioned over. And I think he's becoming a real integral piece of the playmaking role and spine of the Samoa team. Love how he challenges the ruck in these tight areas, challenging at the scrum. So they've changed the call now from the TMO has seen that has been a deliberate knock-on, so that's gonna why the penalty's been awarded, just a knock-on. Deliberate knock-on by Blue Nine penalties. I like this too. It's not gonna be a yellow card, none of that rubbish. It's just a knock-on penalty only, and we move forward. Got the right call in there. Here it is here. So no nice the one's gonna challenge and see there he's targeted the ball just late to disrupt the pass. Gap is fine, guys. Yeah. Oh, the with the target, the ball in behind him. Secured by Miura. The loose head prop, and then it was lost. The turnover was clean, and then knocked on here at the back. Oh, he knows the momentum shift of Malolo, I think it is. He's the one that put the shot on that created the opportunity for the counter, right? You get the turnover, you do all those hard work king things. Those are those, they talk about one percenters, and that's the one percent when you've done the work. He's still blowing up Deluxe there when he goes down to that scrum, and fair enough too. He knows there's opportunities to be had, and you can't keep giving Japan easy gets. Crouch. Five. Fujiwara. Flat ball for the current. And another second man play before coming to Osara. Taking on Alafipo. That's a good tackle, tackle from Alafipo. Now they go wide for the cover. Tatakawa. He shifts. The body's in motion, but they just had too many options. And in the end, they lost their way, Japan, so they have to regroup and restart. 
for Juwana now, back in their own half. Yeah, they find a lot of joy though at those breakdown contests. Are more piling a lot of numbers in there. If they're not getting the ball, they're trying for the counter ruck, which has worked on a couple of occasions too. Just missed it for half a second there. Here's the key though, isn't it? The guy was just on screen number 15, Xu Sing Lee. Created two tries already for Japan. Fujiwara with a nice long flat ball in midfield for Riley. Now the pick go and a tip on for Tuitama. They have got lots of options and lots of little trick plays. And they start to pile on the pressure now. All the is available, a first receiver. They miss him out and go to Derns. Ten metres out now. Can they finish the half with a try, Japan? The quality of these recycles. Now they're just beyond the five metre line here. Chance on this left side with a beautiful long ball. And a spectacular try for the home team, Japan. That's the two playmakers, the skipper Tatikawa, now to lead the 15. It was a late mispass. They jammed in defensively, Samoa. This is a tough one to, to give to. Here's the nice hit up. Look how clean the ball is, and it's quick. There goes the second hit up. Nearly gave the ball, decided to keep it, and watch this. The skipper out the back door, sees it late, and sets up the guy who's been fantastic, fantastic in the first 40 minutes. Tatekawa, the master. Lee, the apprentice. Perfectly in sync together. Number 10 and number 15. Great job. Ten. Get that ball to turn around. He can indeed. He's having a special tournament. Lee. Time to score too. A couple of minutes out from the half, just pushes them a little bit more out over the two score lead. 28 points to 13. A little bit more comfortable. Samoa now have to restart that momentum. They lost it all just because of one penalty given away. Looks so themselves so hard to get back in it. There's the halftime hooter. Just negotiate this restart. Try and reassess. Another couple of receivers available for that. Ulovici was going back and he was coming forward, and in the end, no damage done. Malo Tuitama, an impressive first half. Fujiwara, very, very busy. And they deserve their lead at half time, Japan. 28 points to 13. Over Samoa. For the money Samoa, Rodney Yona to start the second half. Yona Derns. Tatikawa. So immediately. They engage the midfield defence. Holding in front, guys. Stop. So they have twin kickers, twin first receivers in Lee and Tatakao, a tactic we are seeing more and more of at this level of the game. Yeah, multiple options in it to exit. I'm sure that's what they spoke about just as they left the dressing room, Japan. Receive this kickoff. Make sure we're clear on an exit and just get it out. There's the throw from Malolo. 
eventually. Curry clears the tackle area. Now Mataval has kicked a lot from the base. This one straight up and down. And secured by Samuel Mataval. And now Rodney Yorna with a low kick along the ground. Alafipo on the chase. You don't really see that from a number 10 kicking it out, but he's done it a couple of times to great effect. So he's back in the line out. That's what he's saying. They've hit a couple of times that disrupted Japan too on their throat. Four men line out from Warner Dunes to secure a position. Now Fujiwara. Back in, holding in front, stop there. Tatekawa can't kick it out because it was passed back. So it just sends it into the Samoa half. Yonna. Samoa on the counter attack. Roll first. You're okay. Who's got a roll? Tackler roll. That was a great chase from Osada. He chased that kick. It was a lone chase and he came all the way across field to. Get Alo Sio, but because he didn't roll away, it was actually a turnover from Fakatava. You can see the difference in tempo. Samoa just slowing it down, going to this set piece, making a stop start. Japan wanting to play quick, play with tempo, go side to side, speed up the game. That's what that man wants. Lolo to the back. Your nut. Three options to choose from. Takes the first one. Now then, Nene. Matavao. Your nut. Short ball this time. The ball's lost forward. Secured by Japan. Fujiwara. Nice attacking kick along the ground. Now the chance. Looking for the offload back on the inside. Staying alive, Japan. What a brilliant show of continuity, teamwork. And the reward is a try at the end of it, Japan. But it all started again by that guy in jersey number 15, Chu Sing Lee. Kicks it through. Then the chase comes through from Osada. Lee stays in support. And then look at the numbers here. Kanji Shimokawa with the strong finish. That is an outstanding rugby try. There's the vision. There's the speed. There's the support. And there's the outside flanker. Beautifully done. All the skills in the game that we admire. 20 seconds. Pace. Power. And skill. And effort as well as Kautanana alluded to. Chase the kick. Secure the ball. Keep it alive in the tackle and then back up. Shimokawa and the Japan team. Showing us why the game is so popular here and around the world. Those two important scores, one just before the half and now one just after the half pushes this score right out for Japan. And they go wide through Lee. They are just lethal at the moment. Those little kicks in behind are really exposing Samoa's backfield at the moment. Problem for Makisi. Makisi and Fakatawa, they got. Use it. And then Shimokawa, a try score there, six, seven, and eight, all quality. Now on the return to Masio. Seal splits the defenders, gets to pass away. Only had to be held, and Samoa would have had Japan in big trouble. Oh, such a great return. This is what he can do with space. Tomasialo Seal uses the dummy. And then gives the ball, oh, it just dipped right at the end, didn't it? Made it very tough to take, it's unfortunate. 
those two playing a lot of rugby together. They know each other's play so well. This back three of Samoa, when they get going, are absolutely lethal. Sevens program as well. As one of Samoa debut earlier on in the year. Play any of six, seven, and eight. Dominant. Classy player, Murphy Taramai. Ten. Ten. Ten's going to need all those skills now. Fujiwara. Hatakawa. Two players missed out to get quickly to the left edge. It's gone forward. New one has a few mistakes, isn't it, at the moment, but mentally they still have to be on. The Samoan outfit is still very, very dangerous. Fakatava, the two number sixes on this side of the scrum. Short ball for Yonna. The players coming on the inside and outside opted to take the tackle himself, Rodney Yonna. Now Matavao, Yona. Now Alapati Lau with a bit of footwork at the line. Commits two defenders and then they go short. Tuitama, Tuna Tuitama. Now Malolo. They need to roll these phases out, stay down this end of the park. Lalo Milo with a good long ball and then an error out on the left edge. Oh, it was good skill, good pass from Alosio. Trying to give a skipper time to receive the ball and create their overlap. They worked it brilliantly. Look at it the here. Pass the one motion. Good read defensively, though, there from Osada. Applying the pressure. He knew he was outnumbered two to one, so he rushed up and jammed the skipper who made that mistake. What up? Flat in the midfield from the current and then a good read from Alapati Laua to shut that down, but they still got numbers, but then they lose the ball forward, Japan. Handling here has become an issue for both teams, but geez, that's a shot. Alapati Leua, very classy player, probably hasn't had enough ball attack wise. He's been very prominent defensively, that's for sure, and he's just down here. Injury here, bit. Blue Hawker. Summer Malolo is the player that's down for Manu Samoa from Vai. Sala and Matuutu Uta. So he's from Apia, deep in the country of Ulale from the Vaimonga district. Sama Malolo. Good to go. And there's the great Dicky Tafua okay, at the back off, of that please. picture. Water and off. Manu Samoa, captain, sevens coach, and fifteens coach. Water supporting Masi Mahonri Schwalga. Thank you guys. Pretty high Thank powered you coaching outfit, that's for sure, in that Manusa Moore coaching box. They'll be, I know, disappointed so far in this match, not saying it's over. There's been some positive okay, signs up, too over the course of this competition for Manusa Moore. A lot of young players been introduced. Exciting future. Time back off. It is in this revamped Pacific Nations Cup is going to provide annual competition. 
for them as well so they can build very very nicely a base for the future challenge will always be resources but they're going to win this got a good scrum from japan as well forced a bad pass and now they've got a scramble from behind where the scrum was set great defense japan lalo milo now first receiver he just able to get his shoulders through the advantage line as they march inch by inch Nash to pull away playing a little bit of ball out on the left edge very good continuity from Manu Samoa. He has some power runs. Mataval goes back to the short side. Then they offload the football. Turns the ball on the inside and Mataval, who has been such a star for Manu Samoa in this year's PNC, gets his name on the score sheet. I was just watching him, their whole sequence of play. He's a sharp player. Just so quick with his delivery. You got to watch him around the rucks. Look at the way he's commanding that area. He sees the mismatch and the way he's able to read the play, get in position to receive this pass and get the score. Finally, they go down the left hand side and get some joys. Probably three times they could have gone and come away with points. But when they get it right, this is the end result. These young kids, for some money, some more. Starting to find their feet at this level. Him in particular, Milani Mataval. Isn't it great to shot block? <laughs> and gets it done with what? Half a second to spare. I think he's 35, place 20. Still a three score. Plenty of time to go in the contest. Tad over 27. Lee goes deep on the football. Samoa on the 22. So Lee with the carry. Carry back in. Matavao to the ear. Oh, brilliantly done by the captain, Theo McFarlane. Yeah, they shift to the right side with the ball over the top. They've got a little two and one. And Sirov loads the ball, but Tuitama drops it cold. Oh, but again, they're just so dangerous. They know it wasn't far away. That back three of Samoa. Oh, they will, Japan will be on red alert now, kicking the ball with them with no space. Tatekawa. Tomasi Alosio. In perfect position now on the kick return. Just gets inside the Japan half. Yamatavao. Eventually. Markov Puluai. Yona. Partially charged down now. Malo to Tama. He knows there's no fullback. It's the ball in behind the defense line. So it's Yona and Malo to Tama. A little one on one. And Yona scrambles the ball out of the 22. Yeah, heads up plate for Malo to Tama there. Realizing the situation, realizing where the opposing players are. Taking it upon himself to execute. Viti with the line out win and now Dylan Riley. Strong carry from the center. And now they come hard onto the ball, Shimokawa. Numbers on the right side, but they lose the ball. Forward. Then it's lost forward by Japan. But the attitude to play at tempo from Japan 
not allowing Samoa to set it there. Line out, get it in quickly and play. Really trying to stress and attack the fitness levels of this Manu Samoa team by getting that ball in quickly, getting the ball in play, shifting it sideline to sideline. Look at that, a lot of hands on hips, a lot of deep breaths from the men in blue. These occasions, it's the number 15, Xu Xing Li. He's been the destroyer of the Money Samoa defense. Definitely a danger. Two guys immediately behind the scrum. Jiwara immediately for McCarran. Just leaves the ball in the hole as Osada wraps around again. The right edge to the left, and now Samoa. Ah, uh, Fujiwara seizing the moment for Warner Gers. He's over the Avanas line. Brilliant recycle, and now Ulovici hard onto the ball. And now Japan, they send their power runners into the heart of the Samoa defense. One after the other. Fujiwara. No, a little short ball play. Patient and clinical. They know they've got Samoa on the back foot. Fujiwara. This time a little bit of footwork, a great defense. Samoa. On side blue. Last three. Luigi on day bird today, the big lock. Fujiwara, Makisi, with help from Fakatava, balls on the ground, really sure and goal, and it's going to be Fujiwara, very clever, a very smart footballer, Fujiwara. All the hard graft done by the forwards. Wave after wave after wave. He sees the defender just drift half a step and he exploits him. Look at him there, great peripherals. Gets Fipuliai compromised defensively. And then just goes through the hole. Halfback on a tight head prop, not really fair, Carl. 20 seconds. <laughs> they had to do a mountain of defense and then... Fujiwara, just that little show and go on the outside to Tatakawa. Ten. Just enough to get Mako for Pulawai to take a step towards Tatakawa. And Lee. Well, you like the stat from Lee. That's his 19th conversion in this competition out of 19. Has not missed so far 2024 Pacific Nations Cup. Absolute sniper off the tee. Su Shang Li. Tatakawa, the captain. He's in his early 30s. Very easy to see what Coach Eddie Jones is doing with Lee. Started him in a pool game last week at 10. Started him in this very important semi final at 15 with Tatakawa on the park. Okay, guys, ready to go. Ready to go. 17 players with 10 tests or less. Eddie Jones is selected with a real view for the future. And now on track for the final next week. 42 20 as we move into the last quarter of the game. So, more going to need back to back tries. So replacements being made. The outstanding Matavao has been replaced by Tusitala. Pati Laua is off and now Murphy Taramai with a big carry. Offloaded the ball. Curry tidying up. Now with a lovely second man play. And now Tuitama with a chip and chase. Brilliant work done. Brilliant work done by Dylan Riley under the pump. 
guys. We've got an offside call back here. Okay. Yeah, I think it was an offside We've earlier an offside on first. for Japan. But it will come from the decoy run. I think it was from Milani Nanai. Which created that hole on the outside and the numbers. Beautifully run. We had an offside first, so I just missed the call. It's probably too far to rumble all the way over with the drive. The money some more. They're going to go to a full line out though. Tommy Fuss just coming on and Juzzi 18. Collins Mapusua and Juzzi 19. He's the nephew of Solala Mapusua on the wraparound. Lalo Milo. Tolai is on there, the replacement hook up. And then they lose the ball. They've got the plays. Just their execution. Yeah, it's just the handling errors, isn't it? For Samoa today. Like you say, they've got the athletes, they've had their opportunities, they've created a lot. But the 12 handling errors just hasn't allowed them to keep their continuity and build scoreboard pressure consistently. In moments like that, it's just loud Japan breathing space. One minute. Yeah, and I think that's the disappointment and the frustration. They know they're good enough to challenge. They built their way back after Japan's fast start and then they just haven't been able to capitalize on what they've created. Because of the heat and the humidity, the 20 minute water break for players and officials. But we have most certainly seen some spectacular play today. Japan and Samoa both full of running. Both love to ruck and run. And out on the edges, Osada, the two two tummers, other people have been fabulous. And the two number 15s. Shung Sung Lee and Tomasi Alosio for Manu Samoa have been close to the best players on the park for both sides. Alosio, his kick returns have been absolutely on point. Catches the ball on the full, brings the ball back with pace. Great agility. Star of the seven circuit, as was Alofipo. Tuna Tuitama as well. They have added some real magic to the attack of Manu Samoa. It's a Milani Nanai. Brilliant player made his debut for the Blues under the coaching of Sir John Ku and a former Japan coach. Really Jones. Using the opportunity to make a couple of subs as well. Okay, Tingham Costly has come on. It's Takahashi, Taichi Takahashi from Toyota Verblitz. The team where it's here Steve Hansen and Ian Foster We're looking after. Time back on. Aaron Smith and Bowden Barrett are there as well. Quality playing and coaching lineup as Japan prepared to exit their own 22. No, no, not clear, not clear. We're both down. Just step over to me, please, guys, away from that turf. Same again, lined up. Fight, fight, yep. So I'm staying in the obvious. Someone need to come away with seven points somehow from this plate. I know it's not their feet at the scrum, but they have to work hard, find a way to get their hands on the ball, put the Japan team under pressure. Crouch. Yeah, but you're right, it all starts at the scrum. Boy. Just trying to get some ascendancy, try and get the ball back in, try and get them going backwards, and then allow your backs to get line speed and defence. 
Use it. Fujiwara. Stay. Thank you. Lee goes long. Alessio anticipating well. Now on the return, Alessio came to the middle and then back down the left edge. Lalomilo. No room, forced to go to ground, Lalomilo. Yona looking for runners, finds it. Sayuli, the loose head prop. Then they lose the ball forward. He's been the most damaging ball runner, Patelo Mapu, today, but unfortunately just hasn't had many opportunities in the second half to impose himself had to defend. Lot the mistakes have not allowed him to get those numbers up with ball in hand. Okay, Just joined our coverage, Fiji have already qualified for the final next weekend in Osaka. And they beat the USA last night in the first semi-final. And Japan with a 22-point advantage with time ticking away on the clock. Now poised to join them. Japan, two players behind the scrum. Four more out to this long side of the bottom of your screen, Fujiwara. Curran, a little no-look pass and then a tip on. Fujiwara. Yes. Yes. frame over the advantage line and inside ball mixing up. They are mixing up their attack, Japan. Dunes goes again. Just looking to take defenders out of the line. Does well, Dunes. Now for Katava. Fujiwara. Bit of whips on that pass. But again, Samoa defence, solid. Ball along the ground. Masi. Alessio, it's to go back. And then go forward. Gets them out of the 22. Yeah, he's had a good day today. The number 15. His returns have been very, very good. Eating up a lot of space and he's created a lot as well. We're going to play. Let's go. Medic, we're going to play. <laughs> oh, what a Dunes this time jumping a four and a line out and they pick up a very quick eight metres on the drive and Harada hassled by Curry they've got their hands on the ball great job Michael Curry with a big defensive play after Warner Dunes won the line out and that's why you want to see still put in an effort at this point of the game. It's still 22 points behind. Guys, get bound up, still being an influence. Boys. Nobody on the short side, maybe Sam Moore. Yes. All the backs on the open side. And a very, very good scrum. Very good scrum in the closing quarter from the Japan forward pack. And bench impact again coming to the fore. Well, you want to see that when you get your chance, the professional doesn't be able to just close it out. They're just squeezing now, aren't they, Japan? So, Fujiwara, the outstanding halfback for Japan, comes off to a rapturous applause, applause from the Japan fans, and why would they? He's a popular figure. Smallest player in the park, one of the biggest hearts. Innovation well deserved as Koyama comes on to take his place. Now, Harada. 
Koyama. Dunes. Leans his big frame into the Manu Samo defense. Koyama. Leviti. Another switch. From the left attack to the right side. Just play right here, straight off your feet. Stay up. It's been so competitive though in that area to break down Samoa. They're not turning the ball over. They've had a number of penalties that they've gotten out of there. That's one thing I think they can be pleased with. Take a positive out of, that's for sure. Murphy Taramai. Oh, he can make anything happen. Taramai is that talented. Up again. He was still drawing the ball. Let's go. Tiru. Too late. Middle, middle, middle. The target was That's in there, but it's not straight. Not straight. Two jumpers in the air. Yeah, and there's the technicality in this rule. If Japan don't compete, then this throw is fine, but because they chuck a jumper up. That's why, if it is not straight like that, it is called the new rule. So risk and reward, if you want to chuck someone up, you might get the reward. It's the time of the game where everybody can play as Phases and fads, I suppose, KT, we see in the game from time to time. Yama. Again, this interesting setup from Japan and scrum time. Two players. Yeah, they shake to go to the left and came back to the right now. And McCain with a kick from Malo to Itama. Oh. He's quick to Itama. Japan's well. Jeez, both of them are. As you said, Tuna Tuitama for Sa Samoa. Malo Tuitama for Japan. That's been a contest all afternoon long. Four men line out for Lutiri. Delay his options. And Warner Dudes. The front of the line out just plucks it out for Japan. And now they go to work. The first carry is a six metre gain. And now they challenge the middle defence. Koyama on the right side. And they chip into the end goal. And the ball's gone forward. Warner Dunes. How good. Well, too good in the line out, that's for sure. Look at that, the right hand goes up and he just dominates the air. But this guy again nearly gets a try assist with a kick. Different variation. Oh no. Had it all waiting for him. Couldn't take it, unfortunately. Takahashi. Well, he's been a difference maker today. They're broken 15 for Japan Lee. Jeez. No. The ball of the 50. A costly. Good game the other night, the young back row. Dirns. Another carry from Dirns. Numbers on the left side now. Kajimura. Koyama. So the bench impact is significant for Japan. They continue to play the game. At pace. Costly. Costly. Playing half back. Lee standing left. Kicking right. He picks out. Rodney Yorna. Thought about a kick and then a lovely left foot step from Alafipo. 
little bit more from the Milo. The chase coming from Dez, but it's a beautiful try from Samoa. They found something out of nothing. And they've got 80 metres Samoa. When they're able to hang on to the ball, this is what they can create. It was kicked down by Lee. Diffused by Yona. He sizes up the situation, shaped the kick, then he gives a pass, but look at him go to work. Brilliant step, sits down the play, gives the ball nicely with the timing. Does Tuitama and then Lalo Milo with the finish. Spectacular stuff. Doesn't get much better. With a brilliant footwork. And then he runs left and passes right. Brilliant play to give the ball to Lalo Milo with no defender in front of him. And how about Warner Dern's? The industry that he showed in the chase, the big lock forward. Ten. Samoa with less than eight minutes on the clock, reminding us how good they can still be in this contest, and that's a good conversion. Their left-hand side has been dangerous for them, though. This is about the fourth time they've broken just in the second stanza. Just had three knock-ons, unfortunately, so they have been able to get points away from that. But when they do play like that, man, they are electric. Holy smokes. That guy's been the spark plug for them. Marcialo Sio. Takahashi on the fly. Out of the backfield, does brilliantly well. And now Harada, what a game he's had to hook up. Loses the ball in the tackle on that occasion. But he has done a mountain of work. Nini now. Well, it switched from attack to defense immediately. Japan. The same level of passion is the offload. Burns with another tackle on the edge. This time he's on the left edge. Forcing Manu Samoa to Harris. Behind their own line, the hustle coming. Well, I've got down by White in the tackle. Scrum blue. Yeah, so it's going to be a knock on in the tackle there from Japan. Again, looking dangerous. Wasn't far away. Lalo Mila, if he gets that pass, there's some space here. Fatigue starting to set in for both teams. You see, that's probably why the high handling errors from both sides. Just time off for this block. Oh, wait. No. We good. Japan, too. Oh, Harada. It's coming off for Kinta. Matsuoka, who's coming on, and it's his international debut. Kinta Matsuoka, as Harada acknowledges the crowd, he plays professional rugby for Kobe. Just waiting on him here. Time is on. And Mamoru Harada from the Toshiba Brave Lucas, the current Japan top league champions. Tremendous effort. It's 75 minutes shift from. Mamoru in the tight five all day. Terrific game from him, but a wonderful opportunity for Matsuoka, who joins Uluviti on debut today for the Japan national team. Closed up on that side. Just bring, bring our standards back, please. Space and balance, both of you. Yep, here we are. Quick wind up. Let's go. Let's go. On you, let's go. Let's go, please. Let's go. Clearly, early. 
free kick for Japan. I can't call a scrum. Shimokawa, Japan. Koyama. Warner Derns. What a game he's having, the big back rower, second rower, should I say. The work rate has been immense. He's going to work now at the Samoa defence line, Koyama. Marlo Tuitama coming from his wing, looking for a bit of work. He lets the ball go in the tackle. Japan advance, ruck by ruck. Osada. Seven metres out. Tim Costley. Well, it's coming on to the ball at pace. Japan, power runner after power runner. And they've gone. They've gone the best part of 36 metres. Just carrying the ball up off the halfback. Nice and direct. Scrum the time ticking away, there's not going to be enough time now. For Mami Samoa to get the win that they were looking for. They're going to probably spend the last minute or so defending hard on their own line as Japan ought to build the pressure it starts with a, a scrum and a scrum advantage they have flat ball from Koyama decoy play now they come to the outside edge great work, great momentum a lovely little set play and the try scored by Takahashi Have a look at the scrum. It's Malo Tuitama at first receiver, so he's not on the short side. Had an advantage from the scrum, Koyama. Flat ball, and then a wraparound play, then another cutout pass, and then a one on one and a terrific finish with momentum. Lovely set play. Players in motion. And Alofipo just not able to hold back. 20 seconds. Takahashi. And a brilliant conversion as well. Here it is, two determined young athletes, and in the end, the attacker too good for the defender as the Hooter goes here at full time. They have been. Big crowd here have been thoroughly entertained in the sun and the heat. In a wonderful atmosphere, the entertainment on the field has been sublime. And another chapter is written in the storied rivalry between Japan and uh, Samoa Rugby. And Koyama will have the final say, puts the ball into the big crowd here at Chichibunamiya Stadium in Tokyo. As the home team, Japan, with a masterful display on attack and on defence. Dominate the second semi-final. So they will move to Osaka next weekend, where they will meet Fiji in the Super Dry Asahi Pacific Nations Cup final.
in uh, 2024. They have been the two best teams in the competition. And this was a Manu Samoa team that were very brave for long periods of time in this contest. They were down 14-0 very early on in the piece, conceding a try to Riley, then a penalty try. So they were on the back foot as Japan started with all the momentum.